Welcome to Technical Drawing. In this sum, length is 35 plus 65, that is 100. Height is 15 plus 30 plus 20, which is 65. And width is 50. So first we will draw a layout. We are doing copying isometric. See this. So this way you can draw layout. Length is 100, height is 65, width is 50. Now first we will draw this part in front view. This height is 10 mm. Then you go inside by 35. See this, this is 65. After that you go up by 15. And from here you take how much? 35. Then you go up by 18. Then you draw a horizontal line 15. Go up by 18. This is 15. Then you go down. And you draw a line from here. How much is this height? 15. Now remember that one side it is 10, one side it is 15. Now after this, we'll draw this part. We can draw this. See this. This is connected, right? So we'll take 12. Then from here we'll take 35. Fourteen. Then it is 15. Then you extend that 12 mm line. See this. We can extend this in side view also because width is 12. Now see this, this part. You can draw directly. And this slope also, that also you can join directly. after this this part lower part how much is this 25 so take 25 go up by 15 then you join this then you join the lower part also Then you extend this, see this part. And now Now we can draw this circular part, which is radius 20. So rhombus would be of side 40. So first we will complete rhombus. Draw longest diagonal. We'll mark midpoint of 
40 that would be 2020 and from this corner always remember the corner which has more than 90 degree from that corner to the opposite midpoint we need to join so it's like a channel V then from point 1 to M see this we can draw curve got it then we can join this now after this we'll take this point 1 inside how much you have to go inside 12 so you take point 1 inside by 12 that is 1 dash from 1 you take this radius go inside by 12 and you draw this it's called copy paste method you take take copy and you go behind and paste then you join this line so we are done with the sum apart from that circle we need to draw that circle see this now to draw the circle how much you have to go up 30 30 from down and the diameter of the circle is 20 sorry 25 so let's say in exam if it is not given we can assume appropriately you take 20 20 you'll get the center point from there now we'll draw 12.5 up 12.5 down 12.5 on the left 12.5 on the right so when you're taking 12.5 it is more to do with the ap approximation you know so between 12 and 13 you need to put a dot so once you get a rhombus again longest diagonal which is already done now from this point let's say this is point 2 this is point 3 so 2 to m right 2 to m we can join this is 4 this is 5 So we'll take 1 to M, sorry, 2 to M, and we'll draw this curve. Same way, 3 to 3, same radius. Again, from 3, we can draw curve like this. It will be joining the remaining midpoints. Then from point 4 to M. Same with point 5. Same with point 5. Now see this. This is 12 mm depth, right? So it's called polo circle you go inside by 12 see this from this point 3 you go inside by 12 so that is 3 dash 3 to this radius you take go inside by 12 and you draw arc then you can draw 30 30 degree draw axis mark 30 30 degree and mark length width and height i hope you people have understood this sum thank you